Yo people, it's your girl Lofto. Welcome back to my mini home studio inside my bedroom. Today I've got something exciting planned for you. Not only am I going to be assessing different masks, I'm also going to be seeing how well I can wrap on the mic with the mask on. So if they're saying we have to wear masks inside the shops, if I'm going to a studio session and I'm going to be on the mic, I might need to have my mask on if there's going to be other people there. As you're aware, as of the 24th of July, we all have to have these facial coverings when we go into shops. I think it's really important we do to slow the spread of coronavirus and evidence has now come to the surface and shown that with the use of the actual mask you are slowing the spread of the coronavirus because less rates of the droplets in the cough and whatever are landing on the surfaces. The coronavirus actually lives longer in colder temperatures. It has been seen in evidence significantly that these masks actually protect other people really because there's not enough evidence to show that by us wearing the mask we won't contract it but there's evidence to show that it will stop the spread of it but as an abiding citizen i'm gonna do it as of 24th of july well i already have to be honest i'll be going into the shops with my mask on i have gone and ordered and looked at different masks and i'm gonna assess them here with you and i'm gonna see how well i can wrap with them later on i'm also gonna make my own one so i'm going to try several masks on today and i'm going to rate them on comfortability on whether or not they're breathable whether or not they're secure and they feel like i'm protected also on the fitting of it whether it feels tight or loose and so forth so the first one we're going to be looking at is the n95 these are actually usually used by workers to protect dust from coming in but there's no evidence to prove that this protects people from contracting they're not made for that they're just made to protect the person wearing them anyway with regards to the texture it's a bit scaly it's a bit not too soft I'm not sure how it's going to feel on my face. The strings feel nice and stretchy, but it feels a bit heavy. I'm not sure how comfortable this will be. Is this for day-to-day -day usage? So let's have a look. It's actually not too bad right now. I've got a little beak here. I actually feel like I could breathe really well in this. It feels comfortable, better than I thought. There is a gap here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not, not too bad in terms of how comfortable it feels. It's not as rough. In the inside, it's actually um, softer so that's good for for my skin it didn't feel rough and it wasn't scraping on it or anything because yeah these kind of things will give me shivers like i said there was a gap at the bottom it makes it feel less secure but maybe it's not made for my head i thought i had a big head i could breathe very well in it that's for sure so far so good this next one i'm going to be talking about is a thin layer of material that i found in the pharmacy now the reason i bought this and i paid the most for this one it cost me nine pounds and the reason i bought this is because the pharmacist sold this very well to me she told me that this is the best one that they've got in their shop it's very breathable it has this cooling effect it allows air to come out doesn't give you smelly breath it's antibacterial i'm not quite sure what that means because if i'm constantly touching it it's reusable and it's washable so i trusted the pharmacist and i purchased this i actually tried this the other day um, I was walking around for a very long time in stores and I must say she didn't lie. It's so nice, so soft and it's so light. Literally, you put it on and the fit is literally great. You feel really chilled and it has little patterns on there like little snowflakes. It's very breathable. It feels really soft on my skin. It almost feels like I've got a moisturiser on my skin. That's how nice it is. This one for me is a yes. The next one I've got I actually got this one for a comparison to the one that I've literally just shown you and it cost me 2 dollars It was very similar texture to the other one. I wanted to see if I felt I could breathe in it, if I felt protected in it because yeah, the other one was quite pricey but I just wanted to see what the difference was. If it is just the antibacterial element, is it worth paying that much? But this one's just as smooth, just as nice, literally feels great, feels light. This actually feels amazing. This feels really secure. I feel secure. I feel great. I mean, the government haven't actually emphasized on us having to buy masks that have antibacterial equipment on it. If I wear it that day, it's going straight into the wash. Just before we get to me making my own mask, I'm gonna have a go at using a gas mask. True say you're on my channel, laugh the gas. It's only right I attempt to see how safe, comfortable a gas mask would be Who's to say this isn't secure and isn't another method of prevention for coronavirus? I don't know. Usually people paint with these. Let's have a go. I've seen, I've actually seen people wearing this. Okay. Yeah, this is quite hard, not comfortable. Yeah, I'll take this off. 
I couldn't necessarily see properly. Not only is it blurry, foggy in there, it didn't feel great. It's plastic. It's, it was pushing on my, you know, on my bones, really digging into my skin. It was rough. It was not soft, heavy. I'd prefer something scaly and rough over something plasticky, heavy. Inside here, it just got ridges. You know, it literally just pushed onto my cheekbones, pushed onto my head, this line. So it's definitely not made for a long usage, walking around, going into your stores. Didn't feel comfortable, didn't sit well on my face. This is definitely at the bottom of the pile. Yeah, in the bin. I'm now going to attempt to make my own mask earlier on. This is what it looked like. <laughs> I made a face complete shambles, made a mess of it. I just don't feel like they give us explicit instructions. I've heard people have been boiling jumpers and then cutting it out after it's dried to disinfect it. Boris Johnson did not tell us what to do. He just said, use socks. How hygienic is socks? Maybe we need to put it on a serious hot wash. I actually did um, successfully make one earlier on. It doesn't look neat. It's not very flattering. It's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to be safe than pretty. So, here's a sock of mine. I'm going to show you how you're supposed to do it. You're meant to cut where your toes usually go your toes would stick out and look hilarious it's cut across straight across like so so grab one end on the side just have a little cut okay so you should have something that looks like this now what you do is fold it in half turn it upside down and you're just going to snip on one end and snip on the other And then what you're going to do is on each of the top corners here, you're going to do a diagonal cut. So once you've made all your cuts, you open it up. You should have two holes on either side like this, there, there. And these are literally just gonna go and wrap around your ear and the bit that usually goes on the back of your foot is going to go over your mouth and your nose. Quite clever. Okay, it is a bit stretchy. I couldn't breathe properly in this, I'll be honest. I felt a bit, felt a bit hot, a bit suffocated. I didn't feel as comfortable as the other materials that I've shown you. It's better than a mask, the gas mask for sure. But yeah, it definitely didn't feel nice on my face. It, it literally felt like it was meant to be on my foot. Just felt a bit rough around my ears. You know, there's bits of thread. It's not consistently cut, quite rough, it's got bumps. I'm not quite sure I want that on my skin. So this one is also at the bottom of the pile. Okay, I am now gonna put these masks to the test. Are you able to wrap with these masks on? Is there gonna be enough clarity? Can I even breathe properly? Can I focus properly? These are all things I'm gonna be looking at. On my red carpet, fly like Aladdin. They could have seen, but I can't have imagined. I'm gonna be honest, this one, standing up, I feel like I cannot breathe properly I was on mic you were dabbing now you're all shot when i'm bagging this one kept getting stuck inside my mouth literally i was breathing it in it felt very muffled nine pounds i forgave once how did i miss that love always wins lip of love yeah i lived that should come off like tic tac again it's not felt comfortable to be honest none of the masks so far have felt comfortable to be on the microphone it's not allowed me to get my delivery, my clarity, my diction to the how I like it. I'm someone that likes to hear what I'm rapping. I'm not even gonna bother. We all know, literally I hear the echo. This one, definitely, it's a no-go. I'm not even putting it back on my skin. I will, however, I'm gonna attempt with the sock to see how it goes. On my red carpet, fly like Aladdin. They could have seen, but I can't have imagined. I was living half-hearted in a cabin. The sock, the sock has been the best one for the actual microphone. I cannot believe it. The one that I thought I couldn't breathe in the most, shall I say, is the one I was able to wrap the best in. It felt comfortable. It felt like my words weren't muffled. It felt like it was coming out clear. I felt like I could actually, honestly, felt like if I had to go to the studio, I would literally rock one of these just to be safe if there's other artists there and I jump on the mic because you know some people get close to the mic sometimes they lips the mic I don't lips the mic but you never know maybe I might bash my lip and it might hit it or something like that so yeah for me I might rock the sock for the actual mics this one still felt better 
it felt cooler it felt i still felt protected like i said yesterday i was walking around with it all day and i felt very safe one that wins is the one that i got from the pharmacy 10 out of 10 it is great the only thing i do need to do is tighten it up because it's a bit loose but it's definitely my favorite one in terms of going to the shops it feels like i can breathe properly through it you haven't got bad breath in it that's the truth i don't anyway so if you do if you've got bad breath maybe you need one of these but yeah i'm just joking this is a really good one that's my favorite one honestly it felt the best on my face it felt the softest the lightest the most breathable and the most comfortable so 10 out of 10 for this one my favorite one but for me to wrap it looks like i really do have to put a sock in it anyway <laughs> thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed it stay safe we're making a light-hearted situation out of a very devastating situation coronavirus has taken so many lives you know the mortality rates are high it's very scary so be safe look after our loved ones and stay tuned lots more laughter coming lots more content it's your girl check out my next video yeah